All right, Leo. Let's run them down for you for January round two. Let's get it going. This reading for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Oh, wow. Didn't show themselves, so we'll put them back in. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to if you choose to do the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And look where it split. <laughs> No, round two normally isn't the cross watchers reading, but doing a little bit different this month. Split at the tower. Hmm. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. I'm just trying to catch energies that I may have missed in the last reading or anything new. Maybe get another separate story. Four of Wands reversed. That's my little minor arcana tower. We're going to go ahead and leave it out. Okay. Anybody new? Think we might vibe and stuff. You want to come hang out some more? You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool. Two of Cups Emperor. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. It was judgment in the reverse. Possibly bearing a connection. I have open comments back up. If anyone would like to leave one, as long as people aren't being jerks, I'll leave them open. If you're returning. I just said that, didn't I? Sorry, I'm trying to get it and be, I feel compelled to just get right into this. So I'm just going to do two things at once here. Well, he was like, give me my messages. <sighs> huh. Never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I'm going to leave it at that. You know what to do if it doesn't vibe with you guys. Just leave it on the table. Talk to me about the other person. Talk to me about the other person. Nine of Pentacles reversed. That's some I can't live without energy. Oh, wow. That feels horribly codependent. Let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, hi. All right. Strength reversed at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. The devil. Make sure I got everybody. Yep. Okay. All right. These children. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I kicked the boys out of my room so I could read cards today <laughs> because I couldn't read cards last night after I got home from the bread and butter job because the boys just wanted to play. So. Oh, and I have the bigger TV in my room. Prince of Swords. What you got to say about that? Hmm. Okay, either the tower fell because of lack of communication or somebody got blocked. I don't know what was the catalyst and what was the result, so... Pick and choose. What's your story? Talk to me about this devil reversed for Leo. Hi. Mm. 
disconnecting from finding connection. Lack of movement. Lack of movement. Ace of Wands reversed. Lack of movement. Lack of start. False start. This didn't kick off. You're disconnecting from it. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I also have Pisces. A little bit of everybody on the board. Except air. I don't have any air. Why is the King of Pentacles here? How you feel about the person you're dealing with, Leo. Why the King of Pentacles? Grounded, stable, has their crap together, processing some negative emotions, might be feeling a little bit needy, okay? What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Why the High Priestess? Why the High Priestess? Wheel of the Year. The wheel reversed. The wheel reversed. Oh. <laughs> they're anxious about telling the truth about something they're anxious about something coming out in the wash they're anxious about secrets being revealed they want to start something back up and I feel like they know they think if you know you're not going to want to do it that's your thought process right now something's up somebody's being too quiet why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here for your intended actions toward them? Why the Pentacle, Four of Pentacles reversed? Why the Four of Pentacles reversed? Why the Four of Pentacles reversed? Hello. The Tower. <laughs> You're letting go. I'm going to let this fall. Nine of Cups reversed. Five of Swords. I'm going to take what... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Why the Six of Wands? Why the Six of Wands? Why the Six of Wands? Two cups reversed. Four of Wands. Nice. Very nice. You're rebuilding. You're rebuilding on your own turf. You're letting this disconnect. You're shining, baby. You're shining, baby. Why the King of Pentacles reversed for the other person? Why the King of Pentacles reversed? Thank you. Nine of Wands. You're defensive. Justice reversed. King of Cups, defending their emotions, defending their actions, this isn't fair, why the Page of Pentacles reversed for how they feel about Leo, Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, this will get going. If I wait long enough, they'll start something else. If I wait long enough, they'll talk to me. They're just holding that pentacle back because they're being childish. If I wait long enough, oh wow. That's how they feel. Hangman reverse flew out, hit the floor. They think you're still hung up. What do they think? Two cups reversed. Temperance. Five of Wands reversed. This is only temporary. This is temporary. They're just one foot in, one foot out. This is just temporary. They're trying to avoid conflict. Four of Pentacles reversed. 
eventually you'll let go. I feel like there was secrets, lies, and deception here. Somebody really clingy? I feel like somebody was super clingy. Alright. This is the kicker here. <clears throat> they ain't shining at the end of the day. Why is the Seven of Wands here for their intended actions toward Leo? Six of Swords. Continue to be defensive. Eventually move on. Two of Swords. That's defensive energy. Oh my gosh, why are they so defensive? Two of Pentacles. Choices. They... Eight of Swords reversed. Lovers reversed at the bottom of the deck. They're just pissed off because they didn't get picked. That's a whole lot of information. We're putting that all back. Why the Six of Wands reversed for the... The outcome for whoever Leo is dealing with. Snappy, defensive, angry. Probably a little bitter. Princess of Wands, Prince of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups. I'm going to go off and do my own thing. Give my cup to somebody else. Ten of Swords reversed because they ain't over it. Wow. Somehow I knew that would come popping back up. You're off to happiness. There's a soul lesson here, baby. Whatever this was, it was not stable. Don't trust it. They'll get over it eventually. Eventually, whatever harsh feelings they have will end. But it's going to take time. They have to find that within themselves. They have to find their inner happiness. It's not They're not there yet. Yeah. Eventually they're going to move forward and move on. They may... The what-ifs may come up every once in a while, but for all practical purposes, just be patient with the process. I wouldn't give or receive any apologies unless the other person comes forward first. If there's apologies in order, but... Speak when spoken to, Leo. I'm going to say speak when spoken to. Okay, let's get a moonology. Let's get a moonology. Whoa! You. A personal issue reaches a resolution. I'll take it. Get a wisdom. Let's get a wisdom. Okay. Chaos and conflict. Nice. Full moon in Cancer. Full moon in Cancer. Things are likely to get very heated as the full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move towards your goals and dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card also suggests both that a domestic matter or private issue will soon come to a head and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in 
being a kind leader. This is a time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. Okay. Hmm. Chaos and conflict, number 33. A lot of the signs got chaos and conflict. At least one or two of the other signs. I think that's a lot. Disarray, being at cross purposes with one another. The tension of opposites. The value of chaos before order. Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well. You become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds. You leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its, inter its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. Okay, Leo, thanks for coming down. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light, and I will catch you guys in your next reading.